Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to optimize your settings for Mozilla Firefox to get it to run as fast as possible. So a while back I made a video on how to speed up your internet and in that video I explained how to do some how to change some settings on Windows. It worked for XP, uh, Vista 7 and Windows 8. Um, and how to change some settings for Google Chrome and Internet Explorer to get those browsers to run as fast as possible. So uh, one popular browser that I left out was Mozilla Firefox, so I wanted to make this video to show you how to tweak its settings to get the most out of it. Alright, so let's get started by uh, clearing our history. So the history is basically, um, it's just extra space, it's not really necessary, and uh, you can definitely live without it. So just, um, what you want to do is go to the scroll down menu, go to history, and just press on that and then over here you should see a bunch of items uh, what you want to do is select all of them right click and press delete after that you want to go to your downloads and clear everything there once again that's just a bunch of uh, space that's being taken up for no reason so you just want to clear everything there and uh, that's pretty much it you can now close this window uh, the next thing you want to do is go into your add-ons and what we're going to do here is clean out the plugins. So first let's go to this plugins tab and uh, what you want to do is look over here and um, you can disable whatever plugins you don't want. So if you're not sure what a plugin does, it's probably safer not to disable it, um, but if you know what it does and you don't want it, then it's perfectly safe to disable it. So, uh, as you can see, I disabled the Google Earth plugin as well as the iTunes Application Detector plugin uh, because I felt I didn't need those and having too many plugins running can bog down your uh, browser, so I wanted to disable those. Uh, some things you definitely shouldn't disable are Java plugins and um, Silverlight plugins and Flash plugins. Those are important. Everything else. Uh, if you don't know what it does, it's probably safer to leave it, but if you know what it does, it's safe to get rid of it. And of course, if there's ever a problem, you can come back and re-enable it. So uh, just disable whatever you don't think you need here. Having too many can always bog down your browser. The next thing you want to do is go to extensions. Having too many extensions can also bog down your browser. So what you want to do is uh, get rid of all the extensions that you don't want. Now, in the case of extensions, there are no extensions that you absolutely need, so it's uh, technically safe to remove everything. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to install an add-on that will speed up Mozilla Firefox. So, uh, go to the Get Add-ons tab and search all add-ons, type in Faster Fox. And you want to get Faster Fox Lite. Um, the fact that it's light doesn't mean it's uh, it does less than the fa regular faster fox. All it means is that um, basically it's more updated. As you can see, if you look at when the developers last updated it, as of when I'm uh, recording this video, this one was updated more recently. So obviously the developers are putting more effort into this one. This is probably just like a newer version, so we might as well go ahead and get this one hit this install button over here and it should download and install really quickly uh, and you'll see that Firefox Lite will be installed after you restart Firefox I'm not going to restart now but as soon as you uh, close it and open it back up you'll have Firefox Lite running um, okay so the next thing we're going to do is change some advanced settings in about config so what you want to do is open a new tab uh, in this bar over here type in uh, about about colon config no spaces and then press enter uh, now there's going to be a warning saying that these are advanced settings and you should be careful while changing them um, hit this button that says you'll be careful and in this search bar up here we're going to search for a couple of things uh, so the first thing is network dot http dot proxy dot pipelining uh, pipelining. Alright, so um, now what you want to do is right click on this one and just toggle it or you can double click it. Uh, so double click it so that the user status becomes, I mean, so that the status becomes user set and the value is true. And just leave that uh, as is. And then the next thing you want to do is network.http.pipelining. So get rid of proxy 
pipelining and then go to max requests this one right here network.http.pipelining.maxrequests you want to right click on it and press modify then you want to change the value to 60 and then you can uh, hit OK so that's just changing the amount of requests Mozilla Firefox can deal with from whatever it was set to before, in my case 32 to 60. Um, after that you're going to right click anywhere, um, new and you want a new uh, integer. And then what you're going to do is uh, in the new integer name you're going to type in exactly this, ng lay uh, layout I'm failing at typing oh my god here we go all right ng layout dot initial paint dot delay um so ng layout dot initial paint dot delay that's the name so you're going to hit okay and then for the integer value you're going to type in zero all right and then just hit okay and that's actually all you need to do. So uh, you change the advanced, you change the settings over here, and um, that's all you need to do over here. Now, one last thing we're going to do is uh, head over into options and go to the privacy tab. Now, for you, uh, under the history, it will probably say Firefox will remember history. What you want to do is press on that and change it to use custom settings for history. Okay. Um, now you have a whole bunch of options and uh, the first one says always use private browsing mode so basically what private browsing mode is is a mode where uh, Firefox doesn't ever record the history in the first place so unless you have a reason to be using this uh, you can just leave this unchecked because um, it doesn't really make uh, much of a difference in the performance of Firefox so I'm just gonna leave that unchecked because sometimes it is useful to have your history around uh, but basically, you want to keep all of these the same and uh, make sure the cookies are kept until they expire. And then what you want to do is um, check this clear history when Firefox closes uh, check mark, checkbox. So just press on that and uh, you can see that as you press on that, a button over here will, will uh, be able to be clicked, uh, the settings button. So you're going to go ahead and press on that. And now you're going to see... Uh, some options for what you can enable and disable to be deleted when Firefox is closed. So uh, basically what this does is when you check this button it will um, clear certain things every time you close Firefox and hitting the set settings button will allow you to choose what will be cleared. So uh, if you want to keep your browsing history that's fine you can go ahead and uncheck that it won't make much of a difference at all but you definitely want to keep all the rest of these checked because uh, they can definitely add up to a lot of space being taken up so you want to have them cleared as often as possible uh, so leave those checked and browsing history it doesn't really matter but if you have a reason to keep it that's fine you can go ahead and uncheck it also another cool thing is um, if for any security reasons you want to have your saved passwords deleted every time you close Mozilla Firefox you can just choose that right there so once you've uh, chosen whatever you want, press OK. That'll take you out of that uh, window over there. And then you can go ahead and hit OK to close the options uh, window. So that's actually pretty much it. Um, I hope this video helped you. Uh, it should definitely make a huge impact on your Mozilla Firefox's speed. Once again, if you have slow internet in general, please go ahead and check out my uh, video on how to speed up your internet connection. And um, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.